Just a reminder to vote in this week's Locals Poll, where you decide what deck I take to Locals every single week. Without any further ado, I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, welcome back to another deck profile. Today we're going to be doing Dino Mist. So I took this deck to Locals this past week. Uh, we went 1 and 2. Uh, we actually managed to beat at Emancipator round 1, and then... We just weren't able to clutch up against Cyber Dragons or Fright Furs, but uh, before we get into the deck profile, here is a picture of what the deck looks like on paper. Okay, so for this deck, we're going to do it slightly different compared to how we did the Shark one, because like the Shark one, we went started with like the level fives, then the level fours, blah, blah, blah. But for this one, I'm actually going to break it up into sections, quote unquote. So the first section we're gonna have is the uh, level fours that you usually want to see as soon as possible. First and foremost being Dino Mist Terran. This is my favorite of all the Dino Mist cards. Uh, when it destroys a monster by battle, you can add a, any Dino Mist card from deck to hand. Definitely a three of. And then I'll explain the pendulum scale effects once we get through all of the individual monster effects because depending on whether it's... So basically all the scale threes have the same pendulum effect and all the scale sixes have the same pendulum effect. So I'll get to those later. Next is Plesios. Three of that. Uh, basically, this one decreases your opponent's monster by 100 for each face-up Dynamis card that you have, so it can definitely come in handy when trying to beat over things. So I run it at 3 so I can see it as much as possible. Next, I've got 2 Dynamite Power Load the Draco Slayer. The main function for this one is actually in the Pendulum Scale, because this one actually has a unique effect where I can Special Summon the other... Uh, Dino Mist in my scale straight to my field. So uh, we mainly run this one just for the Pendulum Scale effect, so I run it at 2, since it's searchable with both Terran and one of the spell cards that we're going to get to later. Uh, next are going to be our two big beaters. We have Dino Mist Spinos and Dino Mist Rex. So both of these have effects where they tribute another Dino Mist monster to get a special effect. Uh, with Spinos, you can either attack directly or attack twice. And then with Rex, you can either uh, attack another monster or you can shuffle a random card from your opponent's hand into the deck. Mainly just for big beaters, but that uh, the other effect can certainly come into play. Next, we've got uh, some, of, some of our extenders. We have Ceratops and Brachion, three of each. So Ceratops is basically, it's kind of like a backup secretary where if you have a Dynamis monster on your field, you can special summon it from your hand. And then with Brachion, it's kind of like a Cyber Dragon where if you don't control a Dynamis Brachion and your opponent has the highest attack point value on the field, you can special summon it from your hand. So those can be really nice uh, extenders just to establish board presence. Uh, next, for our final monsters, this is going to be what I call our auxiliary monsters. So we have Ankylos and Stegosaur. The main function for these is just to be scales, but if we do get them on the field, they have bonus effects, which is why I call them auxiliary, because they're not really necessary, but they're kind of, I guess you could say they're win more cards. So Ankylos, when it's on the field, uh, if a Dynamis destroys a monster by battle, it gets banished. And with Stegosaur, uh, after damage calc, if you're if a different Dino Mist Pendulum battles an opponent's monster, you can blow both monsters up. So, but yeah, like I said earlier, these are mainly just going to be for your uh, Pendulum scales. All right, so that's it for the monsters. So now let's go on to the spells and traps. First and foremost, triple Dino Mist Charge. Uh, this is one of the best cards in the deck. When it's activated, you can search a Dynamis monster from your deck to your hand, and then once per turn as a mandatory effect, when your Dynamis monster goes to the pendulum scale, it actually adds it back to your hand. So definitely running three of this. 
because I want to see this as often as possible. This is also one of the main targets to search off of Terran if we don't already draw it. Uh, next, it's going to be one terraforming and three copies of the field spell, which is dynamic power load. Uh, terraforming is self-explanatory. You want to search the field spell. Field spell, it kind of turns the dynamis into ancient gears where your uh, opponent can't activate cards or effects when they attack. And also gives them a 300 point attack boost. So obviously wanting to run as much of that as possible. Uh, next, running three iron draw. So this is a card that says if you control exactly two face-up machine effect monsters, you can draw two cards. The only stipulation is that uh, you can only special summon once after this effect resolves, but since this deck has the ability to pendulum summon, you can still pendulum summon about a whole bunch of monsters from your hand after drawing two cards. So it's a drawback, but not really a drawback, if you, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, next... Triple Limiter Removal. So obviously all of these are machines. So, you know, machine. So Limiter Removal. This is just a way to really push for a lot of damage. Uh, ideally trying to get an OTK or just to beat over something that's really problematic. And definitely wanting to see this as often as possible. Next uh, running two Twin Twisters, just to keep uh, back row at bay, especially, uh, especially things like uh, Torrential Tribute or Solemn Judgment, because that way they don't interrupt my Pendulum Summon. So, just running two of that. It's a pretty good card, but uh, it actually worked against me at Locals. I drew two of it. I drew both copies of Twin Twister in my opening hand against Frightfur when I was forced to go first. So needless to say, I got OTK'd. <laughs> and then I also drew one copy against Cyber Dragon. So it was kind of dead. But in any case, it's a good card to have. Uh, next are the traps. Uh, Dino Mist Eruption. When a Dino Mist uh, gets control, when a Dino Mist monster, so not pendulum scale, but a monster on the field is destroyed. You can target a card your opponent controls and destroy it. I actually used this to out my Ad Emancipator opponent's uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. So that definitely came in handy. Uh, one Dino Mist Rush. Uh, basically, this lets you special summon a Dino Mist from the deck. It's unaffected by other card effects, but it gets destroyed at the end of the turn. Uh, I usually use this in one of one of two scenarios, either when my opponent declares a direct attack and I'm trying to conserve life points, or when I've just cleared their board and I'm trying to push for game. And finally, we have two Dino Mist Howling. Uh, the reason I run two is because it's searchable off of Terran, and you also don't want to see multiples of this card in your hand. But it's really good when you activate it, so... Uh, when it's activated, you can actually fill up your Pendulum Scales with Dino Mists. And then uh, you can tribute a Dino Mist monster to bounce an opponent's monster back to hand. So really, really nice there. A nice way to interrupt your opponent if you're not able to ODK them. So yeah, now we'll get to, uh, we'll get to shuffling and then we'll do test hands. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, I'm actually gonna move this over here so it's like from my point of view as dueling. So uh, ideally this deck, it's, cause this is a more pure machine variant. So it's not running things like Bahamut and Toad, stuff like that. This is more of a pure machine OTK kind of build just for fun. Uh, so ideally this is gonna want to go second. So we're gonna draw a hand for going second because that is the ideal. So we got Iron Draw, Power Load, Ceratops, a Rex, a Plesios. So this would be our starting hand. Not bad. And for turn, we would draw. Nice, we got Terran. All right, so 
I'm actually going to kind of move this over, I guess, and we'll... Can I zoom out? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so zoomed out now. So with this, what we'd want to do is we'd probably scale up with the... Doo -doo -doo. Hmm. Well, actually, I think what we would do is we would special summon, or we'd normal summon Terran first. And then we'd special summon Ceratops. All right, then we would activate Iron Draw. And we'll draw two cards. We get Howling and Eruption. Okay, so we only get one more special summon this turn. But we don't, we didn't draw any Pendulum Scales, unfortunately, but that it's actually not bad because we have Howling. So what we would do is we'd activate Power Load. We'd set the Howling and the Eruption. And pass turn. Or, or actually, wait, no. Going second. I forgot, sorry. Going second. Uh, we'd enter Battle Phase. And then set these. And assuming Terran was able to destroy a monster by battle, we would be searching for... A Dynamis Charge. Because then, when we activate it during main phase two, we can search a Dynamis Monster. And in this case, uh, we'll grab a Spinos. Since we'll have our scales established through the effect of uh, Dynamis Howling. Okay. So then what we would do is we'd go ahead and pass turn there. And then during our opponent's turn, we would go ahead and flip up the Dynamist Howling. We'd scale up from the deck. So we'll get a Stegosaur. And from the deck, we're actually gonna pull the uh, Draco Slayer, the Dynamite Power Load. Because that way, next turn, we have this extra special summon after our pendulum summon. I'm gonna kinda move this over so we can still see power load there in the camera. And then at any point during the turn, I can activate Howling, tribute this so this would go to the extra deck, bounce an opponent's monster. The mandatory effect of charge adds Terran back to my hand. So now I've got four monsters in hand that I can pendulum summon next turn. And if something gets destroyed, I've got Eruption to destroy an opponent's, uh, an opponent's card, so. So yeah, uh, draw for turn. Okay, we got another Eruption. Not really what we wanted to see, but that's okay, because we're going to Pendulum Summon four. One, two, three, four. And in this case, we would activate Spinos. We'll tribute Terran. Uh, charge adds it back to hand. He can either attack twice or attack directly. Normal summon Terran. Uh, considering how many Dynamis we have on the field and Plesios, because remember, Plesios uh, debuffs your opponent's monster by every Dynamis card, so we'd be losing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 900 attack. So they'd all be decreased by 900 attack. I'd probably go for the attack twice, so we could clear more monsters. So, yeah. That's pretty much the basics of the deck. I mean, the only thing that we didn't really get to see was limiter removal, but that's basically all there is to this deck. We'll do one more test hand, though, just to see what we get. All right, I'm gonna shuffle up real quick. Yeah, this video is definitely gonna be shorter than the shark one. I do apologize, the shark video went longer than I thought. I kinda went too deep into the details. But this one should definitely be shorter, so. All right, let's see what we get. Eruption, Stegosaur, Spinos, Power Load, and howling. Okay. 
And again, assuming we're going second. All right, we got Terran. Cool. So unfortunately, we, and this happened at locals too, because I run even numbers of scale three and scale sixes. But I unfortunately have nothing but scale threes. So that does kind of suck. But this is still workable. So what we'll do is we'll power load. Uh, we'll normal summon Terran. And at this point, we would enter battle phase, assuming we have something we can beat over. If we beat over, we'd search charge. But assuming we can't, just for devil's advocate sake, we're going to set the eruption and the howling, pass turn. Then probably during the standby phase, we'll flip howling, scale up from the deck. And then we can be interrupting the opponent with that. So yeah, that's basically it for... This deck, I mean, I know this one, this one's very simple. Uh, it's basically just get a bunch of machines, unga bunga, drop limiter removal. So this is a very simple pendulum deck. Uh, I recommend this type of deck for someone who's new to pendulums. And es especially because the, uh, all the pendulum effects are widely the same so i have a scale six there so all the scale threes they protect a dino mist uh card from being destroyed by destroying this instead and the scale sixes do the same thing except it negates a targeting effect and destroys it instead so again very simple very linear but also very fun when you get the limiter removal. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the deck profile. Uh, I'm going to be doing this for all the decks I take to locals, but then I'm also going to be doing ones retroactively for the ones I've already taken. So like, for example, I did sharks already and I'm doing dino miss since I took it to locals this week. Next, I'll probably do, uh, I'd have to look at the list. I think it was Nephthys. I'll probably have that on Monday and then I'll do uh, whatever deck I take to locals uh, this coming week. Uh, right now, it's Goki that's in the lead. So be sure to vote in the locals poll to decide which deck I take to locals this coming week. And yeah, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. So yeah, see you guys next time.